All right. This is a dangerous tree. It's an ash. Looks like it's been dead for years. Got a heavy lean. The other half broke out some time ago, laid up in there. And doesn't look so bad from here. But if you get around the other side here, and take a peek at what's going on in here. There's like nothing in there, man. Nada. It's all rotten. I mean, pretty good. So, my main purpose here today is not to die. Always good to live at the end of the day. And it's fortunate we got a lane for it. I don't think I would even try to pull this thing over with a rope if we had to deal with all these woods here. Take a look at that, how much green that's got. Looks to me like it's leaning right about out there. I'd like to turn a little bit to this hole here on the left, but it's gonna go. I think whatever happens up there is just gonna break out now. Escape is very, very important on this tree. I got this creek down below me. I might just head down to that creek bed. My shoes get wet, my shoes get wet. It's gonna be easier to try to scoot anywhere else through here, but figuring out what's, what's a good escape route now. There's really nothing too much over my head here. I'm hoping to finish the cut somewhere down here and shoot straight down the hill here. Right down there. Right now, I'm not too fleet of foot right now either. So let's see what happens. Probably cut this guy out of my way. Probably strap it up too. He did bring a strap. All right. We got another dangerous tree here, folks. Let's take a look at this thing. This backside here is ash. It's been dead a long time. And this backside here, if you can see how much decay is in there, I'm going to show you right now. Put the hammer through. All the way in the back there, it is just all punky. Down here, look how far I go through. That's how far I'm going through down, down low there. And it's got a pretty good amount of lean. We got a hole there for if we can make it to the hole. It's going to hit a couple things up there. It could be a lot of limbs flying back. It's a dangerous tree, man. You know, obviously I'm wearing a hard hat here, and that's great. But hard hats, if a big enough piece is coming down 50, 60, 70 feet, it doesn't take much. A hard hat is not going to save your life. It's only for the small stuff, you know, which you wear it anyhow. On this tree, I'm really mostly concerned about escape. Now I got a creek down here. I can head down to the creek. That's kind of my, my idea. I'll finish the cut on the downhill side and shoot right down into the creek. As far as I'm concerned, the further away I am, the better. Stuff flying out of the sky can get me back there. If this thing barber chairs, tough to say. I mean, we have this big heavy duty trucker strap on there and we got it wrapped three times and real nice and tight, but I'm not counting on that. This thing is so rotten. It could just, it could, it could just shatter into pieces any second now. So. Barber chairs definitely this being ash, being that rotten. And let me tell you something. Now, all you three guys out there, I, I don't like this job. I mean, this job is not, I could, I could die on this job no matter what I do, right or wrong here. This is a, the, the difference between doing tree work in the backyard, suburban tree work, and doing logging, is you don't run into these big old nasty snags like this, these big dead rotten trees that are just right, waiting to kill you. So, uh, and the loggers, man, those guys, they're, they're, they're taking risks we're not taking. So one of, all right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is, um, you know, I'm leaving my headset up the whole time. I wanna hear something that's breaking out of there. And if I hear something, it's just gonna run. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plunge in here where, where, towards where the, the hinge would be. I'm gonna plunge straight through there and just see how much good wood we got to see maybe how big we're gonna leave that notch. <laughs> Did you see that? It's like a piece of paper. Did you see that? There was no good wood. There was none. Zero. Nada. It was punky. It was the whole thing. I did. Ooh, it's a scary tree, man. All right. So given that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple cuts with the saw and just cut out a center section here, leaving a post on each side. I'm going to plunge in on each side, leaving a post. I don't know, maybe like this far on each side. Then I'll finish probably out. You know, I might start in both. I might go back and forth. Cut a little out of the back, cut on this cut. And we'll have two straps on either side of the back. 
Maybe I'll cut a little on this side, a little on that side, a little on this side till it goes. But either way, I gotta have my escape path ready to go. Again, no uh, no hard hat, no, no muffs here. No good. So let's see where we're gonna make this cut. I wouldn't mind making it right around here. starting to pitch my bar so it's got a pretty good amount of front weight and it's uh i'm going to just take another another little slice out of that so that it has a uh, there's some room for it to move here coming out of there because it's going to probably get crushed out of the way anyhow so all right i actually do have a little good wood a little bit better there's a little more wood up here than there is down there all right here we go i'm gonna make the plunge cut on this side i'm gonna to have to ask the cameraman to get out of the rocks in case it goes you got your escape route plan yes, cameraman's sir. good with the escape route Which is a really high plunge over here, nasty. <laughs> this much wood over here. That's my back strap on this side. ready to go so I'm gonna have to ask the camera and stand back a little bit now get going stand right back on that lock step at least 10 feet back there
All right, we have a little good wood on that side, which is cool. All punky over there, nothing holding at all. But she made the lane perfectly. I mean, that's exactly where I wanted it. And uh, I don't see any damage to any of the branches up there. Scary tree, guys. It's on the ground now, though. Hey, uh, I gotta say, that's the most biggest dangerous tree I've ever dropped just using a 200. Taking a dangerous tree like this and putting it on the ground. Pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching. Just want to just encourage everybody to be careful out there. I lost two friends in the last month. Both are really free things. Trees kill them. So some days we kill the trees. Some days they kill us. Be careful out there, guys. Thanks for watching.